Speaking of working, I'll let you go first on uh, this one, Liz. Uh, Brad Banducci and Woolies, they just have to lose him, right, to protect their brand or to try and start repairing their brand. 100%. This is just a PR stitch-up. He had to go, especially on the back of the whole Woolworths, yeah. being shown to be pushing their shareholders' agenda. It bears mentioning their two main shareholders are BlackRock and Vanguard, and that's not nothing. And we've been seeing this agenda, whether it was campaign for constitutional change last year. What on earth is a supermarket doing uh, that for? It, that is not your job. Just shut up and sell food, please. Now with the price gouging, they're under the microscope for that. And now with this bombshell of an interview, he had to go after that, sadly. But it's hard to feel sorry for a man who's walking away with $27 million in woolly shares. Oh, so yeah. I'm sure he's going to be OK. Yeah, it's hard to imagine that, you know, if, they, if you knew that was your exit, package, how quickly would you get out? <laughs> you know, get you quick to... The thing is here that, uh, Justin, it, look, it looks to me like they must have known he had to go some weeks ago, but they knew this Four Corners show was coming up. They knew his performance was going to be pretty bad because they would have been told about that interview stuff up. So they've just waited for him to go, yes. take all that heat and, and then get rid of him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a real shame. I was just starting to warm to Brad. You know, there was just sort of something about him. Actually, my, my favourite guy in the whole, uh, my favourite guy, you know, and we've all been there, the three of us, you know, is the media advisor who went, Brad, Brad, Brad. No, 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 Brad. It was just absolutely gorgeous. But look, at these these are the people, this CEO, these are the kinds of people that run these companies. And when you scratch under, I'm not saying every CEO here, but when you scratch under the surface of some of these big companies, I think you get horrified at what you see, just tremendous arrogance and not particularly competent individuals, people who can't string a couple of words together and sell themselves. Imagine being on the board, imagine being a shareholder and saying, we have spent millions of dollars on this guy in, in, in wages and shares and this is what we get. He fronts up to one interview and he can't get through it. Okay, it's a, look, it's I... a sad look out for what management has become. Yeah, although I mean, I've got to say, you know, fronting up to the media on uh, difficult issues and uh, serious interviews, it's not easy, right? You know, I've done this from every side of the camera and advising people on it, and it's I not know, easy. I talk to Liz but... every Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> but when, but when you you're shot. paid the big bucks to be CEO of these companies, Liz, you, you, that's got to be part of your part of your makeup. You have to be yeah. able to handle that. Well, 100%. This is your time to shine. Before these these issues came up, nobody knew who the CEO no, of the of course were. not. You <laughs> would be hard pressed. No, you seriously wouldn't have, Justin. But when you're under fire, yeah, that is your time now. to shine. And all right. with all the media advisors, and I'm sure the thousands that are poured into that side of things, he would have been grilled beforehand. They would have made sure that he was feeling his sharpest, at his readiest. And Fired given up. that's what yeah. he delivered, you've <laughs> got to just be like, yeah, old, you're not up to scratch, The old, mate. while I'm doing the interview, can I take back my words? Yeah, indeed. That's, that's <laughs> not going to cut it. Uh, I'm by if all only, means, if by only. all means, hey, look, sorry, I didn't really mean that. Let's move on. But honestly, yeah. Whoops, stop. Can we go back? Can we excise that from history? 